Hey there everyone, this is Jessica from Chroma Quest Gaming, and today we're going to talk about um, the different tiers of metal in Sky Saga, um, their different st statistics, and uh, what is best for which metal. So um, on each list, you're going to see the statistic we're talking about up here, the metal names, the color of each metal, and their statistics for that particular category. So, starting out for durability, um, at the top of the list, which is, by the way, the worst, and then for each list, the top will be the worst, the bottom will be the best. So, top to bottom, first for durability, we have Sunsteel. Now, Sunsteel is minus 2.5% durability, which means it is weak. It is not good for making tools with, because they will disintegrate very rapidly. Um, Okay, so next we have Frost Steel, Rose Iron, and Sky Iron. Now all of these are about uh, normal, so they're pretty much like the default. So if you want um, a, a normal amount of durability, then these three are your go-tos. Abyssium is plus 10%, so it's a little bit stronger than um, the <clears throat> previous three. Crimsonite is at also plus 10% and verdanite which is plus 20%. So what does this mean? This means that if you want your tools to be durable, you're gonna want to go for verdanite, okay? So um, next we have damage. Um, so just like um, durability, we have the worst on the top. So starting out with the rose iron, okay, so rose iron is incredibly weak. It is negative 30%, coming up behind crimsonite, which is negative 20%, and verdanite is minus 4%. Now we just saw in the previous one that verdanite is the most durable, but it's now about sacrifices damage, okay? So what this tells me is that you don't want your weapons to be verdanite, but you want your tools to be verdanite. Um, Next to Skyron, which is just a good old average amount. Frost Steel is plus 10% damage. Sun Steel is plus 20% damage. And Abyssium is plus 25% damage. So Abyssium is going to be your most damaging metal. And um, it is also fairly durable. So it would be good to have, if you want heavy weapons that are very powerful, you're going to go with Abyssium. However, if you want speed, See, now Abyssium, even though for damage it's the most, it's going to also slow you way down. It's going to be minus 20% because it's heavy, right? Um, so you don't really want that. I mean, maybe you do. You can have a durable, damaging weapon. It's just going to be slow. Um, and as we see on the opposite side of the spectrum, Rose Iron is plus 30%. So that's going to be super quick. Um, but if we go back here, it's only a normal durability, so it's gonna deteriorate pretty fast. Um, Verdanite is somewhere in the middle, a little bit past Sky Iron. So, um, yeah, and also, for, in terms of armor, this is your movement speed. So, if you're wearing Abyssinium, you're gonna be pretty slow, whereas if you're wearing Rose Iron, you will be um, faster. Um, these two, Frost and Steel, uh, Sun and Steel are um, kind of slow, but I mean, it's not too much below the normal amount. Um, yeah, so my recommendation is if you want a fast tool, you should make, um, well, Verdanite is durable, so you're gonna want that, but I don't know. It, it's really pr up to preferences because you're gonna sacrifice one stat for another, really, so. Um, Verdanite Tools is, is, is fairly fast and good and durable. Um, in terms of weapons, I would go with Abyssium if you can get your hands on it. If not, Crimsonite might be a, a good second... Uh, oh, no, actually it's not C because the damage is less, so... Um, yeah, you're gonna have to just take a look at, all th at these stats and make a decision about what you're willing to sacrifice. Um, where to get each metal so some of these are unknown because they're super rare and I'm still new to the game so you're gonna wanna um, explore a bit and find out I'm assuming Abyssium's on super hard uh, worlds and um, 
So here's where I know you can get rose iron. I've seen in the market for sure. Um, a trader at the social hub. Crimsonite, I don't know where to get. Verdonite is in f uh, forced biomes way deep underground. Sky iron is literally everywhere. It's in your home world. It's um, on pretty much the surface of every world. Um, on your home world, it probably is limited, so be careful. Frost steel is in snow biomes, sun steel is in desert biomes, and abyssium, I have no idea. So if you guys know where to find crimsonite or abyssium, please uh, let me know in the comment below. I'll be happy to fix that with an annotation. Um, here we have a chart that I came across from the user um, Alpha Secret um, on the Sky Saga forums. So this chart just kind of shows you, so orange is durability, damage is gray, and speed is yellow. So if you want an overall um, comparison of what sat stats they sacrifice, take a look at this. So here in the Rose Iron we see it has a ton of speed, low damage, medium durability. Crimsonite has um, high durability and speed, so you know, I think Crimsonite would be good for armor um, if you can't get Abyssium. Uh, Verdonite is super durable, fairly fast, so probably for tools that'd be good. Sky Iron is just normal average. Frost Steel is um, high damage. Sun Steel is high damage. And Abyssium is s super high damage, pretty good durability. So keep all those stats in mind when you're crafting your weapons and armor and tools. And that should help you for certain circumstances. And a couple fun facts that I'll go through really quickly is Crimsonite is especially um, effective in going through dirt. So if you need to tear through a bunch of dirt, Crimsonite is your is your go-to material. Abyssium smashes through rocks super hard, super quickly. And Frost Steel is your ultimate protection against um, against um, the cold. So. If you need, if your character's freezing a lot, you're gonna want to wear frost steel armor. Um, and lastly, some of you guys might already know this, but in case you don't, in case you're a beginner, in order to get to forest biomes, you need green keystones. To get to snow biomes, you need white keystones. In order to get to desert biomes, you need yellow keystones. So that's how to get to each biome. And I hope that this stuff helps you and that you craft some better tools and such with this information. Alright, see ya.